Welcome to Snowflake. This demo focuses on the basic concepts and features of Snowflake to help you get started quickly. Snowflake is an analytic cloud data warehouse provided as a service. Snowflake is faster, easier to use, and far more flexible than traditional data warehouse offerings. You can focus on loading and querying your data. We take care of the rest. Snowflake has a clean, easy to navigate interface. The menu bar contains six menu items, databases, warehouses, worksheet, history, the help menu, and the user menu. Let's take a quick look at each menu item. The help menu gives you access to Snowflake documentation. You can also download software for connecting to Snowflake through the command line client and other interfaces. This demo focuses on the web interface. You can perform all the same tasks using the command line client, which we will cover in a later demo. Click on the user menu to change your password or log out. If you've been assigned multiple user roles, you can switch roles here. Snowflake implements security through roles. Your role determines which objects you have privileges to access. The databases page displays information about any databases you have created or have privileges to access. Snowflake uses ANSI standard SQL to store, maintain, and query structured and semi-structured data. All data in Snowflake is stored in databases. A database is a logical grouping of objects, such as tables and views, organized into schemas. You can create, clone, drop a database, or transfer ownership to a different role. If you select a row on any page in the interface, a panel opens. The panel displays security details for the object in the selected row. You can close the panel by clicking the row again. Click the name of a database to view and manage the objects in the database. Next, let's look at warehouses. What is a warehouse? A warehouse is a cluster of servers that provide compute resources. You use warehouses to execute queries, load data, and perform other DML operations. The Warehouses page displays information about the warehouses you've created or have privileges to use. Here you can create or drop a warehouse, suspend or resume a warehouse, transfer ownership to a different role, and configure a warehouse. Now let's move on to the worksheet. The worksheet provides an interactive ANSI SQL interface for running queries and performing DDL and DML operations. To use the worksheet, first select a warehouse to explicitly designate compute resources for your queries. Snowflake allows creating and using multiple warehouses to separate resource-intensive tasks, such as data loading and queries, as well as isolating your queries from others' queries. You can resize a warehouse at any time to improve performance. You can also choose a database and schema to use for the worksheet. However, this step is not required because you can use fully qualified object names directly in your queries. This feature enables querying across databases. You can now enter queries in other SQL commands or load a script file and use the current warehouse to execute them. The worksheet maintains the results of each query executed in your current session, as well as detailed query information, such as the warehouse used. The results can be exported to a delimited text file. How do you monitor queries from previous sessions or queries executed by other users? The History page displays all SQL commands executed over the last 14 days, including commands executed from client software. You can filter the list using one or more of the filters provided. Click a Query ID to examine the details of the query. In the Query Details page, you can view query results if you are the user who executed the query and it was executed within the last 24 hours. Thanks for watching this brief tour of the Snowflake interface. More introductory training material is available at docs.snowflake.net.